Hi guys and gals, Butch here from Baker Archer Products. Anyway, I'm today I'm going to demo and kind of a show, give an instructional video on how to assemble your uh, four post tensioner. And we're gonna be doing it on our swinging four post. I don't have it on my website that it fits the four post, but it does. Anyway, we'll kind of get started here. <clears throat> the they will come disassembled like this due to length and shipping and what have you. So you'll see that this has the sliding nut, I guess is what I call it, sliding plate. It should thread right in there. Kind of, You don't have to do it super tight. You want to give it a little flexibility. We have a set screw in here. You install it in there. And these you kind of got to be careful to make sure the strut nuts are lined up in the grooves on the bottom of the unistrut. You don't want to get too carried away just yet. You just want to make sure that they're kind of seated and make sure that it slides back and forth nice and smoothly. Once you're happy with that, 332 Allen wrench and tighten your set screw to keep the threaded rod from backing out. I'll go back and cinch this down a little bit more. Make sure everything fits right. Feels nice and smooth. Then we have our swinging four post base. What you'll have to do Install your base on there. The kit comes with two different lengths of studs. The short one goes in first. Kind of hold things in place. Then your, your swinging bay, your swinging two post, four post, however you want to work it and a shoulder bolt it has two shims on here because this plate's 3 8 this is 3 8 so we got to add a little bit of gap for it to uh, be able to swing smoothly a quarter inch allen wrench for that pinch it down make sure it's not binding Then we go to our front. See, you can put spacers in there so when you cinch it down, this thing will always slide, but I kind of like having control of that a little bit when you're uh, moving it. Once you get to your tension you want, you cinch it down or if you're stretching a little bit, and a lot of the trad guys will stretch to 100, 100 pounds. But most people like to use this for uh, adding some tension while they're serving the end loops. I'm not a big trad guy, so they got a lot of little tricks that I don't know. I know they'll serve, swing the post, and continue to serve their, their ends. But anyway, just kind of a short video how to assemble your uh, tension unit and just a little functionality. Anyway, thanks and have a good day.